everyone. I know I said I'm not going to do a new challenge until I'm done with re-uploads, but since this one is really short, I just thought why not do it right now, just to get a little refreshment, let's say. So let's take a look at this, shall we? As, as always, special thanks to my lovely patrons and all of you who subscribe and watch these videos. You are keeping this channel alive and going. Thank you very much and I hope you will enjoy. Hey peeps, jump in here. I have an idea you might like. You trust your ideas a lot, don't you? To be fair, he didn't really come with that many bad ideas yet. Unlike some, hinting at someone in particular. Yes, your fiance. You are the one to talk. Um, so what is the idea? And why is it so many people here? Because it's short and sweet, so more space for more people. Makes sense, I suppose. I would be cautious about him saying sweet, but okay. What's the deal? I can't do anything verbal, mind you. Still can't talk. That's fine. You can write those. So, I don't know if you caught it, but there was a challenge running around socials where you asked your partner five things you like about me, four things, three things, etc. I think it's pretty sweet, so I want to try it. Even though it's not a trend anymore. That actually does sound sweet. Unless it reveals some hidden unpleasant truths. Do you? With Terushima? Hardly. Yeah, that guy almost worships you. You should see the other chats he's in. Oh, really? I like this. Might even be a nice icebreaker. Why do you need icebreaker? Um... Some stuff happened recently, but all's good, no worries. But having a talk like this is never a bad thing, right? I suppose. Fine, is everyone in then? Seems like it. Great, go ahead then. Who knows, maybe you'll find something new about yourself. As much as he was exhausted from the morning practice, Kentaro decided to go ahead with the challenge while he was still on the train home. Not that he didn't have patience, but he wasn't doing anything anyway, and he could at least avoid the embarrassment of having Shigeru see his red face in case he said something inappropriate. Or sweet. That was more probable. And so he found their personal chat using the fact Shigeru was at home that day to his advantage. Hey love, doing good? Yep, great even. Are you heading home? Yeah, I'm on the train. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. But before that, I have a game for you. Game? Nothing difficult. I'll just ask you something and you answer. Without too much thinking, preferably. Okay, throw it at me. I'm not sure how well I'll do if it's some trivia or something, though. It's not. What are five things you like about me? That's an interesting game. Don't think too much, just shoot what comes to mind. Okay, then... Your eyes, definitely. Then your strength, physique, and the warmth you always emit, physical and emotional. And last, your kindness. Gentaro pressed his lips together to hide the white smile making its way to his face. Four things I like. Volleyball, fried chicken, animals, and me. I hope. Of course I do. You're on top of the list. Three things I look good in. Jersey, definitely. Then hoodies and that shirt you wear on team meetings. 
You know, that one you always roll your sleeves up. You like my forearms, eh? I told you I like your physique, arms included. Okay, okay. Do things I say a lot? Eat shit. Huh? Don't think I didn't hear you from the bleachers when I was going to your matches? I highly doubt anything changed. It's part of the game. And the second? Love you. Do I? Yeah. But I'm not complaining. It's nice to hear it from you. Kentaro's heart swelled. He made a mental note to never stop saying those three words before he took a deep breath, mentally preparing for the last question. And one thing you would change about me? He dreaded the answer to that since he himself could make a long list of things Shigeru might like to change. His thoughts were interrupted by a clink of a new message. Your hair. I wish you went to your natural color. Don't take me wrong, I don't mind the blonde, but brown suits you. He had a lot to do not to laugh out loud, both from relief and amusement. You know what? For you, I might go back to brown. At least for a while. Yay! But only if you want to. We can talk about it when you come home, hm? Alright, I'll be there soon. Love you. Before Asahi even managed to close the chat, the phone got almost catapulted from his hand when a screeching gremlin suddenly jumped on his back. Gotcha! What? You? You're going to give me a heart attack. On par with his personality, Noah just giggled and repositioned himself on Asahi's back, apparently not paying any mind to Asahi's rapid heartbeat. Taking a few deep breaths, Asahi finally managed to collect himself enough to gently smack Noah's head. What was that about? Grinning, Noya leaned over his shoulder, snuggling to him like a koala. I'm just happy I'm home with you. Meaning with you present mentally. He pouted. You haven't paid any attention to me since I got back. Oh, I... Really? Yeah, you're always buried in those papers and fabrics of yours, not even answering when I ask something. As I is just constricted with guilt. I'm sorry, dear. That wasn't my intention. Um, how about this? I'll ask you something and then we will do anything you want. Together. Sounds good? This time, Noah's grin softened. Okay, what's the question? There's a few. He carefully sat on the couch making sure he didn't squish Noya too much. What are five things you like about me? Is that a trick question? No. Okay. Mm, your smile is really high on the list. And your hair too. And when you blush. I love the whole teddy bear energy you give out too. And when you get protective, it's chef's kiss. As he chuckled. Not that I need to be often. But when you do, it's worth it. Alright. Um, for things I like? Drawing, fashion, long walks and beaches. That was fast. A kiss landed on his cheek. It's not that difficult after so many years of being together. Three things I look good in. Glasses, coats and button downs. But honestly, you look good in almost anything. Two things I say a lot. I'll do my best and you know. The pout returned to his face. I 
very salty about that though. You need to be more adventurous. I just don't want you to get hurt. He took a deep breath, instinctively squeezing Noel's hand. And one thing you would change about me? This time, Noel stayed quiet for a while, obviously thinking about it. Just as Asahi was about to start panicking that Noya was choosing from a long list, Noya snuggled closer again, a soft smile on his lips. Maybe just so you learned not to overwork yourself all the time. For your own health, you know? His heart melting, Asahi carefully moved Noya from his back into his arms, squishing him in a firm embrace. I'll do my best. See? Told you to say it often. As I chuckled. Seems like I do. You shouldn't be on your phone so much. You need to rest. Looking up from the screen, Sammy flashed Shirabu a smile. His heart beats beating up with excitement over seeing his boyfriend again. Since his state started to improve enough to allow him to be free of all monitors and tubes he was wrapped in the first week after the attack, he had been plagued by boredom for most of the day. There wasn't much he could do yet since he wasn't allowed to get up from the bed on his own yet, and so the only bright time was when Shirabu ended his shift and came to visit. He opened his arms in a silent invitation. His heart fluttering when Shirabu accepted the hug without hesitation or grimacing. Everything okay? Sammy nodded, careful not to do too wide of a motion. He didn't need to do more damage to his throat than there already was. Okay, that's good. Do you need anything? Shaking his head. Sammy reached for the notebook and pen by his side. I have everything I need now that you are here. Shirabu blushed, gently smacking his shoulder. Sweet talker. But you could answer me some questions. Oh? What questions? It's a game. Or a challenge if you want. Nothing serious. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Five things you like about me? Shirabu blinked in surprise, rereading the sentence twice as if he wasn't sure what the words meant. Then his cheeks flushed. That's the challenge? Well, um, I like your hair. And smile, obviously. Your hands too. I love how gentle they are, even though you have calloused fingers. Then, your music, of course. No matter if it's an official release or you just strumming in our living room. He paused, opening and closing his mouth before he seemed to find his voice again, his eyes closing over. And your voice. Heart aching, Sammy cupped his cheek, mentally kicking himself for not realizing the challenge could lead to this. Shirabu took his hand in both of his, squeezing tightly as he took a stabilizing breath. It's okay. Your voice will be back soon. I know it. What's... what are the other questions? Sammy hesitated for a moment before he took the pen again. Or things I like. That's an easy one. Music, playing guitar, your band, and cooking. And you. Shirabu blushed harder, trying in vain to hide his reddening cheeks behind his hand. Come on, not fair. Three things I look good in. Jackets, high boots, and suits. Sammy chuckled. 
I'll remind you of this the next time you say my jackets look cringe. Two things I say a lot. How does this sound? And am I good enough? I don't say that. Maybe not out loud, but you do. Now it was Sammy's turn to be surprised. But surprise soon turned into warmth. The kind he knew so well and missed so bad whenever Shirabu wasn't around. He scribbled the last question. One thing you would change on me? He let go of the pen as Shirabu took his hand again, bringing it to his lips to leave a kiss on his fingers. I would like you to finally remember that I love you the way you are, and no matter what anyone says, that's all I need. And Sammy could about melt there and then. It was one of those days when Kinraichi found himself home alone, waiting for Kunimi to come back from some work meeting he was called off to even though he was supposed to have a free day. To say he was bored would be an understatement, and he couldn't even do anything except sit around and watch TV or read something since his work was done for the day and his legs didn't allow him to go for a joke just yet. Sure, he had the challenge to do, but he didn't want to accidentally text Kunime into the meeting and get him in trouble. Ah, screw it. Still painfully slow, he made his way outside, determined to at least go for a short walk if he couldn't go running. It wasn't the most pleasant walk he ever went on, but the fresh air did wonders to his mind. When the pain started to be too much, he settled on a bench in a nearby park, enjoying the late morning sunshine. Then his phone clinked with a new message. I'm heading home. Already? That was fast. Yeah, I don't understand it either. I guess they are technically inept and don't know you can do meetings online. Anyway, I'm on the bus now. We'll be home in half an hour tops. I'm looking forward to it. Are you bored? A bit. Why? Wanna play a game? If it's not something stupid, sure, but why so suddenly? I just don't have anything to do right now. Would you tell me five things you like about me? That's the game? Yeah. Okay, your height is up there. Your hands too. I love how you manage to make me feel small even though you aren't that much taller than me. Happy to provide. Then, your hair, the way you have it now with the undercut, looks good. Kindachi bit his lip to stop himself from grinning like a complete idiot. He probably did a good thing with asking over a text. Kunimi was always more honest over text. Your enthusiasm for everything you find interesting is cute too. And the way you care about your loved ones. Kindachi paused at that, his chest constricting a bit with the reminder of the times when his tendency to care for the one he loved the most faltered, leading to serious hurt in both cases. He had a lot to make up for. Okay, how about four things I like? Volleyball, obviously. Baseball too. And running for some reason. Hey, it's fun. Speak for yourself. And then corn. Very true. Three things I look good in. Jeans, shirts of any kind, and bed. Oh, really? Don't. I mean when you sleep. Sure you do. Anyway, two things I say a lot. I can do that. And 
That's so cute. With that stupid sweet smile on your face. Kindachi chuckled. Could you miss words warming his heart? That is until he recalled what the last question was. And one thing you would change about me? Hmm, not much. Maybe just you tend to cling to some things too much. There's no need for it. Letting out a relieved breath, Kindachi smiled at the messages, sending an air kiss in Kunimi's direction. Thank you. You can when I get home. You should go too. How do you know I'm outside? Sixth sense. Kindachi laughed and carefully got up, too excited to have his fiance home to not listen. Having Yaku around was one of the greatest feelings left new, even with the recent hiccups. The more down he was now that Yaku left for Russia once again, leaving him alone in their apartment with just his work and bodyguards. He no less than hypnotized his phone, waiting for the message to come, announcing that Yaku arrived at the hotel and was free for a call. Good thing the challenge is just questions. Those are good. And it sounded interesting too. Well, unless Mori will be in a bad mood, then it's going to be a disaster. He forbid himself to dwell on it and waited, almost jumping with joy when the text arrived. He dialed Yaku's number immediately. Hello Mori, how was the flight? Everything okay? Slow down, would you? Flight was okay, everything went well. I'm ready to go to bed though. I don't understand how you can fly around without ever looking tired. I'm beat. Left chuckled sheepishly. I guess it's about getting used to it. Um, I can call you another day if you are tired. I don't want to keep you from resting. No, no, it's okay. I'm not that tired to not talk with you for a bit. Just maybe don't expect some sophisticated answers from me. No worries. I am... Um, can we play a little game? Yaku paused for a beat. Game? I mean, sure, if it makes you happy and doesn't require too much thinking. No, no, it's actually better if you don't think about the answers too much. So, uh, what are five things you like about me? Olaf, is everything okay? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Is that thing still bothering you? I'm sorry, Lev. I really am. It's... No, no, no. It's fine, I swear. It's really just a game. Or challenge. Suna came up with it and I thought it was interesting. Yaku still seemed hesitant to believe that, but then hummed quietly. Okay. I guess what I like the most are your eyes. They are beautiful, especially with your hair. Aww. Then that stupid adorable smile of yours when you are excited about something. Your height too. Really? I thought you hated it. I don't hate anything about you. Not for the last six years. Left good inwardly. The warmth spreading through his chest, feeling like the best hug. And then your unbreakable spirit. No matter how many obstacles there are or how many times you fail, you never give up. I love that. More, that's so sweet. Okay, four things I like. I guess modeling, hot buffs, cats and making fun of me apparently. I only make light-hearted fun of you. Still. Okay, then three things I look good in. 
mm, suits, skinny jeans, and pretty much anything you model for. They are good in choosing what suits you. Do things I say a lot. You yell my name all the time. And want me to hand it to you? <laughs> Makes sense. And um, one thing you would change about me. He expected Yaku to take his time with it since, despite his earlier words, he could definitely find something to change about him. And yet, Yaku answered immediately. Nothing. You're perfect the way you are. Really? Not even something small that irks you? Lef, nothing bothers me on you. I don't hate anything about you and I would never change anything about you. Now stop with this and tell me how was your day, hmm? I'm all ears. And so Lev did, trying to inconspicuously wipe the mist from his eyes. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. So I'm testing some things with this challenge, that's why I'm doing it also. Because as you probably know, I tend to do the challenges very story heavy or as much as challenges can be. And the storyline runs mostly on challenges and through challenges. So I thought maybe it could be good to sometimes put out like short and compact challenge that has quite a lot of ships but is really short or on the shorter side for each of the ships as a sort of refreshment let's say just a little fun challenge let me know what you think about this and let me know if you want me to do it again and if you have some ideas throw it into the comments or into the request form if you have any other ideas the request form is linked in the video description see you next time